Okay, what I want to do today is show you how to use the unpivot functionality within SQL Server integration services. So to demonstrate what I mean by um, pivoted and unpivoted data, this is an example of uh, pivoted data. So this is uh, sort of the structure that you'd get out of, say, a pivot table within Excel or a cross tab query um, uh, within um, within Microsoft Access. So um, what you have is you have one uh, uh, one unique identifier, and here we've got a, uh, a customer name, and then you'd have seven products or items assigned to them, as opposed to um, unpivoted data where you get the uh, individual customer, but then you'll have multiple rows um, assigned to them. So essentially, by um, unpivoting data, we change data from this format into this format. And it's very easy within uh, SQL Server integration services. It's much, much easier than, the, say, the, the pivot uh, transformation. So this unpivot uh, transformation is a, it's a nice, handy um, little tool to have up your sleeve. So we start off with a um, uh, with a connection to a data source. So this is the pivoted data that we that we want to unpivot. So we've got uh, one customer, multiple columns uh, of, um, of food items assigned to them. So eggs, bacon, baked beans, toast. So what we want to do is then drag in a unpivot uh, transformation, connect the two with the green arrow, just to drag and drop. Now we double click, go into that uh, transformation. So first thing we want to select what um, what columns we want to pass through. So pass through is essentially means just let them uh, pass through the transformation without really having any uh, any um, sort of any action performed on them. Um, but so that's the customer ID and the name. Uh, a tick this pass through, but we also what we want to do is select the columns, these food items that we want to transform, and then we want to also uh, in the destination column uh, type in what we want to call the column they end up in. So it's quantity. So this will say how many bacon eggs, um, baked beans, etc. That they have. Okay, and then here we um, basically put in the name uh, that of the new column. So that'll be the, we'll call this food item. Uh, so this will be the header for the uh, column that contains eggs, bacon, baked beans, toast. Click OK, that's it. As simple as that. So. What I'll do is just drop a derived column transmission in after it so we can and put a data viewer in on the connection. So really it's just the, the only reason I drop drop that derived column transformation in was to hang this data viewer in there. If you want to learn more about data viewers, um, look at some of my earlier um, earlier um, YouTube videos. So when you run this We'll see what the um, unpivot transformation does. So here we go. So we've got um, the customers. So now we've got, for example, Jim. He has four items, food items assigned to him, and he has the quantity, um, the quantity of each of those. So that's it, really. Pretty simple stuff.